Hello friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Now I'm going to show you how to finish off your gigantic Tunisian spiral that lays flat. Everything's going to be wonderful about it, but you need to end, right? We need to end it. So what we'll be doing is decreasing the height of our round, but we'll still be increasing as we make our stitches to follow a normal circle. So it might sound confusing, but it's really, really simple. Let's get started. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to finish this off. You don't wanna end it like that. It looks too, it's too obvious. But since we have so many stitches here, we have to decrease a little bit at a time or it won't, it won't look right. So I got the rest of my Ferris wheel. Remember, this was a, a four weight with a suggested five hook, so I'm still using my eight. So what we want to do is use the same rules that you were using for your round. Like when we increased at the very beginning, we did the very first stitch was the increase. When we're decreasing, the very first stitch is going to be the decrease. So here is a decrease. I'm at the end of my round nine, which is six Tunisians in between my increases. Now I have to follow the rules for the next round. Follow the rules for the round that you're on. So we're gonna go under all of our vertical bars like normal. and into our marked stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, until you have three loops still on your hook. Instead of two loops on your hook, now you have three. This is how you decrease. Yarn over, pull through all three. So one of our vertical, vertical bars just disappeared. It got pulled up to the top right here. So we want to go again. No decrease this time. We have to follow the same rules. So we're going to the next one. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now I want to put a mark on this one. This was my first decrease. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. All right, so you follow the rules for the round that you're on, just like if you were increasing or just working on it in normal, but the very first one is a decrease. So we decreased here. Now the other six just follow along, going under every vertical bar that's available. So remember we reduced, so one of those vertical bars is gone now. We jump over to the next one. So we have five loops on our hook. One, two, three, four. So there is our third one already. Our very first one was the decrease, then we did two here. We want a total of seven. And this goes really fast when you're decreasing. Even if you're on a huge row and this thing is a king size spiral, it still goes pretty darn fast. And here is my last one before an increase. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to do exactly this going under this where we only have five loops on our hook. 
So following the same rules, I have to put two stitches in the stitch. So we're going to our vertical bars. One, two, three, and into the next stitch with five loops on our hook. Remember, because we got rid of one of those vertical bars a while back. So this one is just one stitch shorter. We want two in that same stitch because we don't want this very last round to pucker. We have to follow the same rules. One, two, three, and four. Alright, there's our first grouping for round ten, but we are starting to make the finish off that's going to be like that. So for the next one, following my rules again, so here's our vertical bars. I only have three of them there. So four loops on my hook. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook. And there we are. Yarn over, pull through all three. And now you want to do the other six for this particular round that I am on. Oops, and I should have moved, I should have marked that one. This was my decrease. Right there, there's my decrease. It'll just take me a second to get the rest of these done. And I imagine you can figure out what the pattern is here. Our sequence for this round that I'm on is seven Tunisians in between the increase of two in the same stitch. So I have to do that same rule. Let's see how quickly this can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm already at seven. So now the next stitch will get two Tunisians in it. So it stays with the same sequence for what this round should be. Two in the same, just like that. But you can see it's starting to get shorter. But we're doing it gradually so it doesn't just go, you don't want it to just fall off. Then it's noticeable. But we're almost done with our finish off here. So we're going to go under our vertical bars again. And do our next stitch. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. And I mark that stitch again. I want to go under and in the next one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So we have seven in between those increases that are going around in the circle. So we're actually increasing and decreasing at the same time, which doesn't make sense. But we are increasing as we go around the circle so it doesn't pucker. Because we want to make sure that this continues to be continues to flare out like this and doesn't just bunch up right here in our very last row. All this work, you don't want to have it bunch up. So we're just following the rules for the round that we're on, just like if we were going to keep right on going. If I wanted to make it a big, great big king size blanket, you just keep right on going and going. Right, so I did my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two in the same stitch to follow our sequence around for the circle. And now we're going to decrease one more time of our height under the vertical bar. 
yarn over pull through into the next stitch and now I have three loops on my hook and our rule is when we get three loops on our hook that's when we yarn over pull through all three so that's what we're gonna do and that's what we just did so now that was number one so now all we have is single crochets one because there's only one loop on my hook. So it's just a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Two singles right here. And then I like to end it with a slip stitch. So there's one. I got one more marker. I do. So there's my first slip stitch. One, two, three. Not too tight. Four, five, six, and number. Seven. So this is what we all, all everything that we just did together, right here. Here was normal sizing. I'm on round uh, ten, so there were seven Tunisians in between my increases. That was starting, starting at my pink one, right here with my blue. Right here. Okay, so what we were doing is we were decreasing height, but we were increasing as we went around the circle. So hopefully that makes sense. Because we want this to still be our circle, we just want the stitches to be shorter. So we decreased one here and followed the same rules for the round that you're on. Decrease one here. When you get to the last three loops on your hook, you pull through all three because that gets rid of one of your vertical bars. Then you follow the rules, part of the circle that you're on. We decreased again. Decreased again. And then I ended up with just single crochets because that's only we only had one only had one loop on our hook and then I like to end with a little bit of slip stitch just because I think it looks nice you want to go all the way around with a slip stitch fantastic if you want to keep going until you find a color match which might be a while like if I wanted to do that I'd have to go way over here or if you want to skip the the slip stitches all together that's fine too because you can see they do show a little bit differently, so I'll just show you without. So that would be ending with a single crochet, and then you just finish off the stitch any way you want to, and you don't have any slip stitches showing. So there you go. Hopefully this is all making sense. We're decreasing height but not the circumference. We have to still increase that. So that's the part that gets confusing to people, I think, is that you're still increasing, but you're also decreasing at the same time, but you're de decreasing in the different direction. So there you go. You can keep going and going and going until you run out of yarn. Just leave yourself enough space, enough yarn left to do this. Which you saw how quickly that went. Just leave yourself enough yarn to make sure you can finish off properly. But this, I still have two skeins of this left and I'm gonna make a big old throw that I'm really excited about having this throw. It's so soft and it's so pretty. And I love these purples. Isn't that great? Now we're all finished. All finished. Just finish this off any way you want to and now you have a cute little throw. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back very soon. Thanks. Bye!